Next, we're going to go ahead and start implementing some Angular routes. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, uh, first, I want to introduce you into, um, you may have noticed that in my previous videos, I'm using the developer tools in a browser. Most browsers have this, uh, um, at least all the popular browsers. I know Google Chrome, if you press Control, uh, I think it's, I want to say it's I. Let's see if that works. Um, control Shift I, I think it is. Ah, there we go. Yep. So Control Shift I, or you can go to Tools and Developer Tools. And what you want to do is go to the console. Now, if you don't have Google Chrome, just do a quick search in Google on how to pull up the developer tools. It's really easy. It's pretty much the same across all browsers. But what you want to do is pull up the console. Um, because what, what I like to do with the console is sort of test my code in the browser. Um, because the command line, this one, uh, it, it only feeds you uh, back-end stuff, right? Um, so this console right here is sort of our front-end um, troubleshooting system, right? Okay, so we've already loaded Angular into our application, so let's go ahead and start creating our controllers. Now, this all comes from the Angular website, but I'm not going to uh, give you a tutorial of the website. I'm just going to go right in and kind of talk you through it, okay? So, um, as we recall, this is the back-end side, the app, and then public is the front-end. So let's go into the public and into app and we're going to go ahead and go into views and create another folder called pages alright there we go pages so in pages we're going to create two sample pages alright go ahead and create an about.html okay and then create a home.html alright this is going to be our test pages so go ahead and open those up and just do something like this okay create a div class page header. Alright, this is a bootstrap thing. We'll just say um, hello from about route. Okay. Then we'll do the same thing in the home page in the home uh, HTML page. Okay. We'll do a div page header. Hello from home route. Okay. And let's go ahead and close that out. Alright, so we don't need that anymore. And make sure you, you put that in the right directory. Uh, so moving on, let's go ahead and inside of app create a folder called controllers. And then inside of app create a file called, uh, let's see, let's name it, um, let's go with app.js. Right? And then create another file called, uh, this is going to be our routes, and we'll just say routes.js, simple enough, right? Okay. So uh, we're actually not going to be using the controllers just yet in this video, but in our next video, that's what we'll jump into. Um, so the first thing that you want to do whenever you're um, implementing Angular is you want to call the files in your index, right? So let's go back to our index page, right? And make sure you do this after all the Angular uh, scripts, all right? So we'll just go right here, and we'll do a new script, right? SRC. Okay, and it's going to be, remember, we start off at public because that's what we got from the server, right? In case you don't remember, right here, okay? So we go from this public on forward, all right? So, so it's going to be um, app and then app.js. And then our other one, which is app slash routes.js okay now just a quick explanation app is basically going to be all of our angular files right so we're going to import all our controllers and everything into this one app file right you can pretty much consider it like the main configuration file and then our routes is exactly what it sounds like our routes okay so going back to what i was talking about the console um, what I like to do is I like to test the files to make sure that they're loaded properly. And so this is how you do that, right? Go into the app file and just type in console.log and then type in something like testing main app configuration, right? Never mind if I spelled that correct, it doesn't really matter. Then go into the routes file and just do the same thing. 
console log, testing routes file. Okay, and then close those out. All right. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and refresh the page. And you'll see right here, it's logging to the console, testing main app configuration, and testing routes file. So that's how you know that we've uh, correctly um, injected those two files into our application. Okay, and so next what we want to do is um, we want to create an Angular module, right? And basically what a module is, is um, there's, there's lots of... There's lots of information on the Angular website about it, but basically it's just an application, all it is, right? And this is what it looks like, okay? Angular.module, the name of your module, followed by any dependencies that you're going to use, okay? And so let me explain what this is. So this is how you create an application in, in Angular, right? And you name it, we're going to name it user app, right? And then dependencies is normally anything that you're using, um that you want to inject right so like uh, routes or animation or different types of directive cookies there's all kinds of them uh, if you search angular website um, but with this main configuration file what we're going to do is inject all of our other angular files into this main um, main application right so the way we're going to test this is we're going to go ahead and type in dot config function and we're going to do another console log and we're going to say testing user application right well, you don't have to break it down uh, you can just leave it up here um, but I, I like it better like this it just looks a little better a lot of tutorials will do it that way too okay so now this is almost ready to go but the next thing we have to do is go back into our index and we have to insert this application. We have to tell the HTML page, hey, use this Angular application. So go ahead and copy this, the user app. And you can do this in any any uh, element, any DOM element. Um, but I'm just going to do it in the body tag right here, right? So we'll just say Angular app. And then paste it right there, right? So you're telling the application, hey, use the user app. And then it knows to find that because we called it right here, okay? So now we just want to test it, right? So go ahead and in your routes file and delete this. We don't need that anymore. Um, let's go ahead and test it. Refresh. And you'll see right there, testing user application, right? Just like we identified here. So we know that our Angular application is working, injected into the index page properly, right? So we can go ahead and delete this configuration, actually. For right now, we're not going to need it, OK? Now, back into our routes folder, we're going to do the same thing, Angular module, and then any dependencies that we may use, OK? Now, we'll name this application, uh, let's say, um, user routes. That makes sense. Or let's do app routes, OK? App routes. And then we're going to use a dependency. We're going to use um, ng routes, okay? And this is an Angular route directive, um, or an Angular directive that we can use to create routes. And I'll show you in a little bit exactly what that means, okay? So if you noticed, um, we injected this user app, right? Now, you're probably wondering, okay, are we going to need to do that with this one as well? The answer is no, um, because the way I configured it is this main app um, it's going to feed all the other files, so we only have to inject that one main file, okay? Um, but what you do have to do is, in the dependencies, go ahead and inject that new routes that we created, which is this one, right? App routes, and inject it into the app, right? So just like before, we're going to go ahead and test this. Type in uh, config function, and then we'll just say console.log testing our routes, okay? And actually, um, go ahead and take off the S off of routes. I forgot. Even though we're calling it routes, it's actually the directive itself is ng route, and that has to be spelled verbatim, just um, exactly how they have it on the Angular website. And it's ng route, not ng routes. And uh, you can verify that by going to the the script that you pulled in here, Angular route, not routes. Okay, so just hit save, and then go back to your page and refresh. And there you go, testing our routes. And it even tells you what file and the line on that file 
Um, now, the other thing that I want to mention about this console is that anytime you have an error, uh, maybe you misspell something or you forgot to put a semicolon, this console will tell you wh which file has that error and what line. That's what that 4 is right here, right? This is very helpful for troubleshooting front end stuff, okay? So we don't need this anymore. Now let's go ahead and start building our um, our routes, okay? So the way we do this is we use something in Angular called a route provider, right? And what that looks like is just like that, okay? And uh, so what we do is inside the f inside the uh, configuration we go ahead and call that route provider, and then we say dot when. Put a semicolon there. Slash. Okay, and what that's saying is when the users type in the default location, right? Remember before we mentioned the slash just means default location. And so this is what we're going to do when users go to that default location, right? Comma, and we're going to provide them with an object. And it's going to be a template URL. All right, make sure you spell that exactly as this. And then we're going to provide them with the file that we want to be generated. Okay. So, um, as we recall, we already start at the public folder, so all we have to do is go from there. So, app, views, pages, and then we're going to say home.html. Okay. So, that's, there we go. We created our default um, route. All right. So, whenever users go to the default, they're going to get this home.html page, right? And so let's go ahead and create one more route. And the way we do that is just take off the semicolon and do another dot when. Okay? And so what I like to do is I like to just break this down so that um, as you see, like the routes just start to look a little bit more organized or whatever. So we'll just do the same thing. Except this time we'll say about. Okay? And follow it with a comma in the object. We'll say template URL, app, views, pages, and about.html, right? And that's right here. Okay, so next we want to go back into our index. All right, and this right here is the navigation, in case you didn't know. This is the bootstrap navigation. Um, so what we want to do is go to the home um, link, and that's this one right here. And we want to just set that to the Angular style, right? So for Angular, it's going to be the um, the hash followed by a slash, right? So that's going to be the default location. Normally, it would be this, but with Angular, you got to put that uh, hash in, in right before it. And so for this about one, we'll just do the same thing. We'll say hash slash about, okay? And one last thing to do, right? So we have the routes created. Now we want to inject this view somewhere, right? Where do we do that? Well, wherever we want to, essentially. So we'll just go to the bottom here underneath the Jumbotron, which this is the Jumbotron right here. And we'll inject, inject it right below it, right? So we'll just say, we'll create a div, right? And for the div, go ahead and do ng view, right? So that's what that looks like, simple. And what it'll do is, these two pages, it'll inject it into this part of the page. All right, so let's go ahead and see that in action. Make sure you refresh your page. All right, and there you go. Hello from home route. And this is what it looks like in the address bar. Okay, go ahead and click about, and then you'll see hello from about. All right, so about, home, about, home, about, home. Okay, anyway, just giving you the general idea of what that looks like. Um, I'm just going to put the hash symbol there. Okay. Now, one thing that I want to point out is, let's say the user does something else, right? Let's say they manually go in here and type in something like that, right? Well, we get an error, right? We just get a blank page and nothing there. We don't want that, right? So, um, what you want to do is you want to go here and go ahead and delete the semicolon and say dot otherwise, okay? And then we'll pass an object that says redirect to and then we'll say slash, right? So what this is saying is, if users type in something else, then just redirect them to the home page, right? Simple. So let's go ahead and test this and make sure this is working, right? 
And you see, I just, all I did was hit refresh and it went ahead and shot me to the home page, right? So let's go ahead and type in some randomness here and you'll see, there it goes, home page, right? It redirects you and so that that's our catch-all right there, okay? Okay, and uh, so, so one last thing I want to do before we carry on is I want to show you how to remove this hash symbol, right? I personally don't like it um, and it's very easy to get rid of, so all you have to do is just Google Angular no base, right? And uh, so if you scroll down, all we need is just this part right here, right? So we'll just copy that and we'll just paste it somewhere here in the bottom, right? So actually, we only need this part right here. So anywhere in the application, you can say down here, right? Um, let's see. Go ahead and fix this. Okay, there we go. And so, um, before this is going to be valid, you have to inject location provider up here as well, right? So anything you use down here with a little dollar symbol, basically you just have to inject it up here in the function, right? Um, otherwise, there's no way to return it. Okay, so one last thing that you have to do is go ahead and copy this base HRF, href thing down here. Um, go ahead and delete the rest of it. Save that. Okay. And in the HTML page, I usually like to do this before all the rest of the code. Um, so we'll just say right there, right? That's what that looks like. And basically what that's doing is getting rid of the hash symbol and telling the application, hey, use it without the hash, okay? And um, so let's go down. And so we'll have to uh, change our menu, right? So instead of having the hash, we'll just have the line, right? Same thing with about. We'll just get rid of the hash and there we go. So let's test this out and make sure it's working. Go back to our application and go ahead and delete that hash. And just try to click on another route. And you'll see it takes you to the about route, um, but without the hash now. So it just looks a little better, right? And so that ends our tutorial for right now. Um, so after this, what we're going to do is go ahead and build a registration page on the Angular side. And that's when we'll start implementing our controllers.